Hello, today I'm going to install the LXQT meta package on top of a bare bones Debian installation. For you to have an idea of what this installation has, it is only using 1.4 gigabytes of RAM and right now it's using 68 megabytes of memory so that is the base on top of what we are going to start first let's start by executing the app get to install lxqt and see how much it's going to install as you can see it actually installs a lot of packages for 868 new packages it, it's going to download almost half gigabyte of archives i will be taking time to see how much this installation how long this installation takes so right now it's 11:42 so let's start installation and see you in a couple of seconds and the installation finished it took if we look at the time it took about 53 minutes in this installation. So I guess that you can calculate about an hour for things to install. And now let's see how much space we're using. We are using 3.6 gigabytes. If we were using 1.4 before the installation, that means that we need 2.2 gigabytes of space to install it. I guess it's time to reboot the computer and see how the installation goes. And see you again in a couple of seconds after it reboots. And here we are rebooting our Debian for the first time. And we can see that the only session that we have or the only possible environment that we have is the LXQT desktop. As I said, it was a clean installation. And we log in. And here we have the default desktop. It looks fairly clean. It works fairly fast. It is using 273, which is good because in this computer, I only have 512 megabytes of memory. It's a fairly functional desktop for a limited environment. Let's see how things are running. Hmm. Actually, I don't feel much delay. Um, from the get-go, from what I saw, it seems that it already comes with a compositor that gives it transparency and I didn't have to install anything additional. As for applications, it is a base image. It doesn't have much, but that also gives you the opportunity to install exactly what you want. And if you want to see how to fully configure your environment so it looks nicer, don't forget to check my other video so you can end up with an environment like this or an environment that follows all your preferences. I'll show you where to change all the settings. I hope you like it and keep watching the videos. If you like this video, please click like. If you have any questions, please put it in the comments. I will try to answer all the questions. And until next time, see you around.